Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with, what are their energies towards you, what do they think or feel about you, how do they view this connection with you, and what do they wish they could tell you. So let's jump right in. For Pisces, what messages do you have for, for Pisces? regarding this individual that's thinking about them, connecting with them at this time. What does Pisces need to know about what they are thinking, feeling about that? Pisces. Messages for their All right, Pisces, let's start with what this person, how this person views you or this connection. How are they viewing Pisces or this connection? How are they viewing Pisces or this connection at this time spirit. They do Pisces. Judgment and the King of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy with the Justice card at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy, very clear energy here, especially judgment with justice. Wow, judgment with justice. It's that one's always a difficult one to interpret because there's so many ways you can look at it. And also both of these cards on their own are kind of like big deals. <laughs> So judgment with justice for me as a reader, whatever you've already learned from the past, whatever awakening you're receiving, whatever um, lessons you've learned and want to kind of take into your next cycle, um, it's without emotion. It's, you've been completely objective about it. You've looked at all the facts. You're being very honest with yourself, very truthful with what's happened. Um, and you're ready to make some serious decisions about your future. Also, this is about getting into this new cycle in a more balanced state, in a more um, logical state. So it's not just about, I learned my lesson, but how you're going to move forward. Um, I think that this person has learned a very important lesson when it comes to you, when it comes to this connection. Um, their emotions obviously are here with the king of cups like there's still feelings here but i feel like this person is thinking about things in a more logical way they might also want to make things right have a second chance with you that is more correct more fair to you more balanced because this could be second chances in a more like in an official capacity right so like this will be somebody that makes you some sort of promise or proposal or you know, it's not just I'm sorry and I want a second chance, but this is exactly how I want things to happen moving forward. I feel like something could have already happened between you if judgment is one of the first cards out. What are their thoughts, feelings towards Pisces? What are they thinking, feeling? Spirit, when it comes to Pisces, what are they thinking, feeling? Yeah, the world. So this is judgment that leads to, judgment is number 20 and the world is number 21. So judgment leads to the world. Again, this is confirming what I was just saying. Whoever this is, they're thinking of you, thinking of this connection, but also it's almost like it's not just about how they feel in the moment, but what's next for you? What's the next chapter going to look like? How do they have a new cycle with you? What are they thinking, feeling when it comes to Pisces? What are their thoughts, feelings when it comes to Pisces? King of Pentacles. What are their thoughts, feelings when it comes to Pisces? What are they thinking? What are they thinking, feeling? And the Seven of Cups. How, yeah. Options, choices. Thinking about what to do next. What options are available to them? How is this going to work? What does Pisces think? There's the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like that's you. What is Pisces thinking? If there are like obstacles in the way, this person's thinking, how do I overcome those? Because in their mind, it's not just like I said, I feel like I'm just repeating myself at this point, but whatever realizations they're having about the past, about how they feel, whatever awakenings they're having, if they do want a second chance with you, there's plans behind that, especially with the King of Pentacles here. Tell me about the world. Why is the world here for Pisces? 
the nine of wands yeah there's something that is going to be a bit difficult here tell me about the world tell me about the world yeah nine of swords and then there you are pisces the moon at the bottom of the deck there's an obstacle here and there's a couple ways i can interpret this it could be that maybe you don't trust this person you don't trust in the future of this connection you have worries or anxieties about things that have already happened and so that that casts doubt on how you feel about your future with this person i'm also getting that this person has no idea how you're feeling that's like another message i'm getting you they're in the dark about how you feel how you would take this new beginning would you even be open to this because there's already been kind of a um i don't know it's like there's a a, an issue that had already existed in this connection that I don't see here. And so that's why there's these worries with the Nine of Swords. Someone's anxious about this world, right? Can I get some um, energy, please, for this person? What is their overall energy towards Pisces? What is their overall energy towards Pisces? Difficult decision. This decision could lead you down two different paths. I feel like maybe this decision is yours though, Pisces, because I feel like they already know what they want. But what is Pisces going to decide? What is this person's overall energy when it comes to Pisces? Or maybe they're having a difficult decision of like what approach to take when it comes to you. Time out. Time is of the essence. Maybe this person feels like timing is very important. Time is running out. They need to do something now. They need to act now. Act fast. I don't know why, but again, it's like there's anxiety here. Maybe they feel like if they don't act, something will happen where they miss an opportunity with you. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energy? What is this person's overall energy towards Pisces? What is their overall energy? This one. Love song, declaration, heartfelt confession. Maybe they have a confession to make to you here or a declaration of their feelings. What's their overall energy towards Pisces? Pot of gold, abundance, stability, treasure. Once again, I feel like this person is thinking about the ultimate like outcome. I will have abundance, stability with Pisces. Wizard at the bottom of the deck. I need to make this happen. Powerful, resourceful creator. This is kind of like the magician. So it's almost like they're thinking, I need to make things happen, but quickly. I feel like this person feels like time is running out, like they have to make decisions quickly, they have to act quickly. What are their intentions towards Pisces? What are their genuine intentions towards Pisces? The Four of Wands, yes, a happy, happy home, harmony, stability, marriage for some of you. What are their intentions towards Pisces? Yeah, the Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. A reunion, a wedding, talking things out, an apology, Page of Cups, expressing themselves to you. These two cards is like marriage. <laughs> a wedding, these two cards, Three of Cups, Four of Wands. Some of you, this could be a proposal, like a wedding proposal, like a marriage proposal. I guess I should say marriage proposal. But they don't know how you're going to take it. But others of you, I feel like this is just someone that they want a new cycle to begin with you. And it might start with an apology. Like maybe they have an, a confession or an apology that they need to like express here to you. I feel like this person, if, the, if that's what they're doing, they're being very genuine. I'm not, you know, especially the King of Cups, King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. It's like honest, direct conversation, but also... I don't know some of you might not be open to this pisces like maybe because of what's happened you've been thinking about ending the connection rather than moving into marriage 
or perhaps if you are wanting marriage with this person, there's some other doubts lingering in your mind. Like, I don't know if this is going to work. What about this? What about that? But I think this person at the very least is going to be very honest with their intentions, genuine with their intentions and open their heart to you. What do they wish they could tell Pisces spirit? What do they wish they could tell Pisces at this time? What do they wish they could tell Pisces? The devil, Capricorn energy. What do they wish they could tell Pisces? Strength, Leo energy. Hmm. What do they wish they could tell Pisces? I'm getting like, can't let this go. Wow, the star. All major arcanas, major shifts in energy, Capricorn, Leo, Aquarius energy. It's like they're obsessed with making healing this, like it needs to be healed. Let's see. Can I get one uh, more, please, for the devil? When I see the devil with the strength, I think of someone that literally cannot let something go, wants to force something, um is very like, I don't know. It's like they want something so badly that nothing else is an option. Tell me about the devil and strength. Let's look at these two together. What do we need to know about the devil and strength spirit? Ah, I'm going to flip it over. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Like, you are what I want. Ten of Cups, bottom of the deck. You are what I want, no one else. I don't want anybody else. I want to fix this with you. Tell me about the star. Let me move this over. Tell me about the star. Why is this star here? The High Priestess. A secret hope, a secret desire. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. This person has wanted this for some time. They just might not have told you, but this they're obsessed with this idea. This person is, and I don't know, was, was that you that had like someone that was obsessed? Nope, that wasn't you. I feel like that happened. I had that in the title, like someone was obsessed. Okay, let's just not focus on that. But I feel like that's the similar energy here. Like someone's really like consumed by this idea. They will not consider anything else. And with the high priestess, it's like a secret desire, a secret hope, a secret wish. What is in this person's heart space? What do they wish they could tell Pisces? What do they wish they could tell Pisces spirit? What is in this person's heart space? What do they wish they could tell Pisces? Unwavering love. My love has not wavered. Yeah. Loyal to you. Departure. Someone walked away from this connection. This person could also walk away from something that has held them back from you. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. Past connection. Yeah. So this is somebody from the past. Every time I want to reach out, something stops me. Now that is interesting. I feel like their intention is to have this page of cups, page of pentacles, but I feel like they're a bit scared here. I mean, tale as old as time. This happens so often in readings, but you know, this is human beings we're talking about. Our lives are not movies. This isn't like the Hallmark Channel where someone like wakes up and has this long monologue about all of the things that they want to say, right? Humans are a little more complicated. There's a lot of fear, especially because a lot of these readings, it's about past connections. Um, it's about connections that have gone through difficulty. This person is from your past and their love has not wavered. That's what you need to know. Whoever this is, they haven't stopped loving you or wanting this connection to work and they cannot let this go. I mean, it's very clear. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully this reading resonated for you. If it did, don't hesitate to leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see all of you in another reading very soon. Take care.